an end road. Follow the road. It will lead you somewhere. So don't give up. Who is laughing at you? Your waiting time is not your wasting time. Tell them. Don't ever forget this. If you are not born again, you will suffer again. But if you are born again, get ready to pain again. Divine Appointment Ministry International present another Mega Grace International Convention 2015. The sound of abundance and healing. Are you sick in your body? Are you facing difficult challenges in your business, marriage, or career? I hear the sound of abundance. When God arises and the situation bows, chains are broken, limitation ends, come and experience the power of God in this annual convention with the Jesus soldier, Reverend Ben and Pastor Mrs. Ima Erabai, guest minister, Reverend Ntia I Ntia, Reverend Joshua Talena, Pastor Bola G. Ido, Bishop Jide Ayangbeson, Bishop Dayo Olutayo, Pastor Mrs. Ima Erabai. The Israelites, when they left Egypt, the greatest problem they had was after they have thanked God. The Bible said they got to a place they needed water and there was no water. They took a journey again, expecting to meet water. What they met was a rock. God himself turned the rock to a reservoir. There is a rock that has your water. This week it shall vomit your water. Date, Monday 5th to Sunday 11th October 2015. Morning section, Tuesday 6th to Friday night. Time, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Evening section, Monday 5th to Thursday 8th. Time, 5.30 p.m. Friday night, Restoration Night. Time, 9 p.m. Sunday 11th, 5 Services of Grace. Venue, Divine Appointment Ministry International. 17, Oyewole Street, Off Chilon Street, Off Nikolodu Road, Pangro Bus Stop, Ilukweju, Lagos. Come and be healed. Come and be restored. Maritally, spiritually, financially, you will surely testify. Genesis um, 35 verse 1 And God said unto Jacob Arise, go up to Bethel and dwell there And make there an altar unto God That appeared unto thee When thou fledest from the face of Esau thy brother Now In verse 16 says And they journeyed from Bethel And there was but a little way to Ephrath And Rachel traveled And she had hard labor And it came to pass when she was in hard labor That the midwife said unto her Fear not Thou shalt have this son also And it came to pass as her soul was departing, for she died, as she called his name Benoni, but his father called him Benjamin. Now, Philippians 4, verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say, rejoice. If a man walk out of God, the person will pay. Any journey that takes you out of the will of God is a journey you will pay for. But a journey that takes you into God's will is a journey that God will pay for. God said to Jacob, rise up. Now that you are in Laban's house, if you remain in this Laban's job, you can prosper. Because Laban has changed your salary 10 times. Instead of increasing 10 times, it reduced 10 times. Now God said to him, arise and go to Bethel, where you made a vow to me. Because when you were running from your brother Esau, you alighted in a place that's in Genesis 28 and you made a vow. You poured the oil in your hand on the stone and you promised to build a church. The place was called Luz, L-U-Z. But you changed the name to Bethel. Bethel means house of God. And you said, I will turn this place to the house of God if you will be with me in this journey. Now Jacob, arise. If you remain here, you will not be able to build that house. Now, go back to Bethel where you made vow. Go there. And the Bible says he took his family. I don't want to go into the level of how this wife, one of the wives, stole the father's idol. The Bible says they embarked on the journey on their way to Bethel. But they got to Bethel, they didn't dwell. The Bible says they took their journey out of Bethel and they began to journey towards Ephrath. Ladies and gentlemen, God never said go to Ephrat. All God said is journey to Bethel. The Bible says he took his journey out of Bethel on his way to Ephrat. What happened? They, they, they entered hard labor. 
Now, I remember God saying to them in Exodus chapter 3, I will give these people favor. He didn't say, I will give you labor. Hello, what did he say? I will give these people what? Favor. So that when they go, they shall not go empty. Are you still with me here today? Let, I will give them favor so that when they go, they will not go empty. That is God talking now. But ladies and gentlemen, what did I see? They took their journey out of Bethel and now for the first time we saw that Rachel had labor. Not just labor, the Bible call it hard labor. Hard labor. And in the course of having hard labor, she, she gave birth to a child and when she was giving birth because it was hard labor, her spirit began to depart. She was dying. And out of frustration, she named the child Benoni. She named the child Benoni. And when she named the child Benoni, Benoni simply means child of um, sorrow. She used her condition to name the child. Child of sorrow. Thank God the father was still alive. The father said, no, I am the determining factor. And the father needed to rename the child. Ladies and gentlemen, by God's grace, I am your spiritual father. And I stand here today that any name that has not helped your life, today we rename you. Yeah. Oh my God, I say we rename you. Yeah. I say we rename you. Yeah. If you help me, we'll say a better amen. Yeah. The father said, No, you can't call this child Benoni. I call him Benjamin. So, no wonder if that child was called Benoni, they would never have succeeded in Israel. That's why from that family was the first king of Israel. Are you sure you are hearing what I'm saying? King Saul, that was the first king of Israel, was from the tribe of Benjamin, not the tribe of Benoni. Now, now in Philippians 4 verse 4, he began to say, again, I say rejoice. Rejoice, what was he saying? This is a man writing to people from the prison. Paul was in prison now. He was writing to those outside and say rejoice. What does Paul know that I don't know? What does Paul know that the end time church does not know? Because somebody in prison should not be writing to people outside and say rejoice. It is those outside who should tell him rejoice. They will soon free you. Am I communicating here? You will make it one day. But he is writing to them outside. Rejoice again and say rejoice. Do you know why? The journey to prison was not his journey. It was God's journey. Anytime you take God's journey, I don't care how the enemy catch you, there must always be a way out. Are you all listening to what I'm saying? I repeat again, any journey you take out of God, you will pay. I remember Jonah. God said to Jonah, go to Nineveh. And now, the Bible says, he took, he said, yes, Lord, I will go. Thinking that God cannot see him, he entered the boat. Instead of going to the one going to Nineveh, he entered the one going to Tarshish. The Bible says, and he paid. And he paid. And when he paid for this ship, instead of Geneva, the ship began to go to West, um, where? Tarshish. Now look at it. It says, Jonah rose up to flee to Tarshish. Jonah chapter 1 verse 3. And from the presence of the Lord, and went down to Joppa, and he found a ship going to Tarshish. And he what? What did he do? Did he pay? So that's why I say, any journey you take out of God, now you go pay. Watch it now. He paid the fare thereof and went down into it to go into Tashis from the presence of the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, how can you hide from God? Where will you want to hide? Now, he paid with his money. Now, that's why he paid with his money. If you watch, the boat could not go forward. The boat could not go backward. The boat was stuck in the midst of the sea. It was sucked. Do you know why? It was not God paying for it. I want every one of you to know Every shortcut will cut you short. Every journey you take out of God's will, you will pay for it one way or the other. And that's the reason why, no matter how it is, Apostle Paul was in prison. He knows that I did enter prison as a criminal. Praise God. I did enter prison as a sinner. I did enter prison because I stole. I entered prison because I was in God's will. So his joy was there. Am I communicating here? And he began to write to them. He said, again, I say, rejoice what am i trying to say here this morning i'm trying to say that no matter how your condition look like poor right now it may look as if that thing you are looking for you've not gotten it but i want you to rejoice did you hear what i'm saying here 
you are not yet married those who are married are not better than you i want to say rejoice you don't have a child yet you will have a child am i communicating here you don't have a job yet i say you will have a job but all i will tell you rejoice because a closed heart is a closed heaven once your heart is closed heaven is closed divine appointment ministry international present another mega grace international convention 2015 team sound of abundance and healing are you sick in your body are you facing difficult challenges in your business marriage or career i hear the sound of abundance when god arises and this situation bows chains are broken limitation ends come and experience the power of god in this annual convention with the jesus soldier reverend ben and pastor mrs ima Erabai, guest minister reverend india i india reverend joshua talena Pastor Bola G. Ido, Bishop Jide Ayangbeson, Bishop Dayo Olutayo, Pastor Mrs. Ima Erabai. The Israelites, when they left Egypt, the greatest problem they had was after they have thanked God. The Bible said they got to a place, they needed water, and there was no water. They took a journey again, expecting to meet water. What they met was a rock. God Himself turned the rock to a reservoir. There is a rock that has your water. This week, it shall vomit your water. Date, Monday 5th to Sunday 11th October 2015. Morning section, Tuesday 6th to Friday 9th. Time, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Evening section, Monday 5th to Thursday 8th. Time, 5.30 p.m. Friday night, Restoration Night. Time, 9 p.m. Sunday 11th, 5 Services of Grace. Venue, Divine Appointment Ministry International. 17, Oyewole Street, Off Chilon Street, Off Nikolodu Road, Pangro Bus Stop, Lagos. Come and be healed. Come and be restored. Maritally, spiritually, financially, you will surely testify. Your chapter is not closed. Again, I say rejoice. Paul, the prisoner, writing to those outside and say again, I say rejoice. No wonder in that Act chapter 16. In Acts chapter 16, the Bible says he was, he was in prison and the jailer was outside. The person who jailed him was outside. The next thing I saw that Paul did outside there was simply this. After the prison broke open, the man looked at Paul and he took that guy about to stab himself, thinking that Paul had escaped. About to stab himself. Paul said, don't stab yourself. We are still here. Praise God. When I say we are, we are still here. Don't, don't kill yourself. I am still here. Don't do any harm to yourself. I, I am not running. I'm not running. The prison is open. I am free to go, but I'm still here. Because the man who put me here must come and beg me to come out. I'm still here. Are you still listening to me now? I am still here. Don't harm yourself. And the next verse said, this man looked and said, Sir, what shall I do to be saved? Ask me the question if I paraphrase. What shall I do to have this thing when you get how can I get this kind of your power? The power that you have used to break prison open and yet you didn't run. I need it. So what happened? Power don't change hand with that. Power has changed hand. That means the jailer has become the prisoner. Why the prisoner has become the jailer? How do I know? Because the key now is in Paul's hand. No longer in his hand. The man was afraid. Number one, if a prisoner escapes, the person in charge of that prison will be executed. So he is afraid for his life. But no wonder Paul was saying, Rejoice again. I say what? Rejoice. Don't be sorrowful for me. Now listen to me somebody. Don't let anybody tell you sorry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Rejoice again. I say what? Rejoice. Do you know why? I don't know if you are a businessman. Don't give up. There is a customer that is coming. I, I may not say customers. I say there is a... There is a... This one, when it come, level change. Oh my God, am I communicating here? When you see a man who succeeded, that man had an appointment. And God has fixed an appointment for you. All oh, what you are going through now is just to keep the body and soul together. But there is the main domain. Who am I talking to here? But it has to do with your joy. Again, I say 
rejoice if somebody buys a car rejoice with the person somebody is wedding rejoice with the person somebody bought a new shoe rejoice with the person somebody told you i built a new house rejoice with the person because you know why thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion for the time to favor her psalm 102 verse 13 thou shall arise and what for the time to that means the person that bought a car now in time if you are hearing me shout i hear you hey the bible says he named the child benoni and the father said no you cannot determine how this child will be i reject this name his name shall be called what you know why because the father is there the father is there why do we come to church we come into church so that we can cancel benoni am i communicating here we can cancel sorrow we can cancel sorrow i remember people who walk with god one way or the other god have a way of praying for them enoch was one of them the bible says for he walked with god to a level that they walk and walk and walk and walk they didn't know they walk into heaven you know they were so much engrossed in gist enoch and god enoch is one of those who did not die in the bible before you know he enter heaven and he said i don't enter heaven he said no need to go back stay here praise god stay here you know what? God paid for his flights. The flights that took him there, God paid for it because he was walking with God. Are you sure you are hearing what I'm saying now? Yes, if you are hearing me, why not shout, I hear you? Yes, sir. You remember someone like Elijah also? Elijah got to a level that he walked with God to a level. That he told his servant, he said, look at me. He said, if you can see me. If you can see me. You know, sometimes when you look at men of God, what are you seeing? If you can see me. I don't know what he was expecting him to see but if you can see me but in between if you can see me a wide wind of fire came pam 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 and the man says sir i have seen you <laughs> if this is the criteria i have seen you if this is your criteria for getting this thing baba i have seen you the chariot of fire and the bible says a piece of cloth fell down a power do, what will you do if you serve a man after many years now piece of cloth now you inherit Will you not insult the man? The Bible says something fell. A mantle is just like a piece of handkerchief. And the thing fell. <laughs> the man said, this is enough. Praise God. You know why? I have seen you. And the man carried it. And he went back to the same brink of Jordan. He lifted it up. He said, where is the Lord God of my master, Elijah? Why? The same way you do him, now I want to him. I'm let, letting you know that any journey that you embark on that god is not going with you don't even try it don't even try it oh i want to travel abroad have you asked god whether god is in it because abroad is not above i want to travel abroad it's good everyone is going but is he are you among everyone is your name everyone you ask what is god's way for me are you sure you are listening to me this morning I want to do this business what kind of business is it illicit what kind of business are you doing is it illicit? is it drug business oh a guy just told me to help him carry one package to drop with somebody which what are you dropping with the person that's what i'm saying oh pastor there's money in it yes there's money in it, but you will pay for it you pay you can lose money but don't lose time because when you still have time you can recover money do you agree with me somebody but when you go and pay with your time or your life is the worst calamity that can befall such person i want to say this again be careful of your journey i don't know who you are i don't know the business you're doing be careful of the journey be careful if god is not in it withdraw yourself but one thing about it is if god is in it he will pay for it did you hear what i'm saying and when god is paying for it it's going to be so beautiful you'll be so happy that god did you'll be so happy he did but in case you have been back on the journey already pastor what do i do repent ask god for mercy don't just think that well i'm standing on wrong foundation i'm praying on wrong foundation no you have to step out of the foundation through repentance father i am sorry i didn't know when i did it that's understood but make sure every other thing you take now you prove to god that you are not going to repeat the same error lift up your hands everybody shout it say my father I stand in the name of Jesus. 
Say it again. Say I stand in the name of Jesus. I ask for mercy. Say I ask for mercy. In any way, I am back on a journey or on a business that you have not ordained or in a relationship that you have not ordained. I ask for mercy. Say Lord, let mercy speak for me. Let your mercy restore me. Say my father, there is nothing you cannot do. Visit me with your mercy. Shout a living amen. Shout a powerful amen. Welcome back. Now, in case you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, why not make this policy decision today? Now listen, don't procrastinate this. Don't say tomorrow I will, the other day I will. What I mean is that today is the acceptable day of the Lord. Why not simply say with me, say, Jesus, have mercy on me. I am a sinner from today. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Now, if you have prayed that prayer, now come close. I want to pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my viewer right now. And I command favor over your life. I command things to favor you. I command every blessings of the Lord and make it rich and add no sorrow. Let it be your portion today in the name of Jesus. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, I decree favor all over you. I call it favor on every side. Your destiny help us. They will show up in the name of Jesus. I, I bless you. I command things to favor you in the name of Jesus. And you also that is sick, come closer come close now stretch your hand there now I, I decree healing healing all over you distance is not a barrier from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet i command that sickness disappear right now in the name of jesus i come against typhoid i come against malaria i come against arthritis i come against cancer i come against hiv whatever they call it i come against sickle cell anemia i command it turn around now in the name of jesus and i decree healing all over your body healing now you are healed you are healed of that typhoid. You are healed of that malaria. You are healed of that blood disease. You are healed right now in the name of Jesus. You that could not move your leg, I command that leg, move it right now. Begin to move. You are healed. Yes, the healing power is in your home right now. Receive the healing in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Divine Appointment Ministry International present another Mega Grace International Convention 2015. Team Sound of Abundance and Healing. Are you sick in your body? Are you facing difficult challenges in your business, marriage, or career? I hear the sound of abundance. When God arises and the situation bows, chains are broken, limitation ends, come and experience the power of God in this annual convention with the Jesus soldier, Reverend Ben and Pastor Mrs. Ima Erabai, guest minister, Reverend Ntia I Ntia, Reverend Joshua Talena, Pastor Bola G. Ido, Bishop Jide Ayangbeson, Bishop Dayo Olutayo, Pastor Mrs. Ima Erabai. The Israelites, when they left Egypt, the greatest problem they had was after they have thanked God. The Bible said they got to a place, they needed water, and there was no water. They took a journey again, expecting to meet water. What they met was a rock. God Himself turned the rock to a reservoir. There is a rock that has your water. This week, it shall vomit your water. Date, Monday 5th to Sunday 11th October 2015. Morning section, Tuesday 6th to Friday night. Time, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Evening section, Monday 5th to Thursday 8th. Time, 5.30 p.m. Friday night, Restoration night. Time, 9 p.m. Sunday 11th, 5 Services of Grace. Venue, Divine Appointment Ministry International. 17, Oyewole Street, Off Chilon Street, Off Nikolodu Road, Pangro Bus Stop, Ilokweju, Lagos. Come and be healed. Come and be restored. Maritally, spiritually, financially, you will surely testify. It took no time for members of the community to begin to use the new borehole water given by Reverend Ben. Also contribute to the special people the blind giving them money to buy the musical equipment. Reverend Ben Rabbi gives free medical care and free glasses for members of the community.
One of the recipients expressed her profound gratitude. I'm Dickness Wankwa. I know the man of God very well. He's a very humble and he, he loves people so much. He cares for people. And I'm very blessed today to have my glass. You can support the ministry by sending your contributions through any of these accounts. To Zen Bank Naira account 101-140-2245 on GTB dollar account 210-754-075-210 and the account name is Divine Appointment Ministry International. If you have sent your contribution, you can text your name and details to any of these numbers. Thanks for partnering with us. I'm inviting you specially to join me on Sundays here in Divine Appointment Ministry International, number 17 Oye Wale Street. Ladies and gentlemen, there's no dull moment at Divine Appointment Ministry International where I pastor. My name still remains Benny Ragbai. Join me this Sunday. The first service is 6.30, second service is 8 o'clock, third service is 9.30. Are you sick? Are you down? I think it's your time for testimony. You will rise again. Hallelujah. Christ in me is the hope of my glory. You want Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior? Run to this place. One, two, three.